Hey everyone, well, thanks for tuning into today's video. Uh, we do a weekend forecast today, going to have a detailed look at the weather for the next seven days across the British Isles. It's been mild so far uh, this October. Actually, the second half is going to come out warmer than the first half, which is very unusual. October is a month that usually cools down very significantly from the start uh, to the finish of the month, but uh, this year doing something completely different. Uh, I think we've got some very warm temperatures to come, actually, uh, at the start of the coming week down in the south. We could almost be getting close to sort of date record uh, maximum temperatures would you believe on Monday and Tuesday then things cool down a bit midweek and then start to warm up again for a time briefly at the end of the week but an active week's weather coming up plenty of dry weather down in the south uh, albeit it'll turn more wetter around the middle of the week but very wet at times in the north and west so a huge amount going on gonna have to whiz through all the detail in a moment before I get on with that though just to say about the ads there's links to articles sitting underneath the weather video here on my homepage at gasweathers.com have a browse through the widget if there's any article that you're interested in uh, just uh, click through you have to go off and read that article when you finish at gasweathers you have Sport website as well, uh, and there's coloured uh, blue keyword ads on some pages at gasworthies.com. So your right cursor over green uh, and blue keywords, they'll display ads as you click through the words you go to outside the website. Thanks so much for doing that. The uh, charts that we use got rail pitch and charts at the end from weatheroutlook.com, uh, also charts where you can find a link to both those websites on its page. And thanks so much to those websites for letting me use their information. So uh, here we are for today, and we've got some rain across northern western Scotland, so that's quite heavy actually. It's showery. Showery bursts of quite heavy rain in the northwest Scotland just come down to Northern Ireland. Mean showers across the northern England and Wales are a good deal uh, lighter and mainly dry conditions down in the south and the south east. Here's today's synoptic pressure chart. We've got a very deep air inflow pressure around Iceland at 970 millibars uh, or terminal low. Uh, but high pressure is ridging to the south and the southeast of the country, and that's really the situation through the coming week. Actually, always wettest in the northwest, close to low pressures. Higher pressures always down uh, to the south and uh, the southeast. So for Scotland and Northern Ireland, we're going to have a windy day. We've got tightly packed tides of ours here. Uh, it will be windy in the north, almost up to gale force around northern and western facing hills and coasts with rain increasingly uh, developing actually across the north and west of Scotland albeit showery bursts but they'll get more widespread through the course of this afternoon a few showers across northern England and Wales but for central southern southeast parts of the country lots of dry weather bright uh, sort of sunny spells coming through there will be quite a lot of cloud around as well but uh, there will be these bright uh, spells a nice bright uh, uh, morning has been where I am and we'll keep sort of bright conditions uh, through the course of this afternoon down in the south south Southeast. Well, temperatures up to 16 degrees in the southeast, 61 Fahrenheit. Overnight, the uh, ice bars are tightening even more in the north, so I think we could see gale force winds tonight across parts of Scotland and North Line, particularly out in the west and the north. Uh, but all areas are going to be a windy night, and the rain will get more widespread across the northern and western Scotland as well, and pushing down into North Line. Not too much getting over to the eastern side of Scotland. The mountains will take a lot of that rain, so the east mainly dry. Uh, tonight will be quite windy further south it stays mainly dry there'll be quite a lot of cloud around all areas having a breeze tonight and the temperatures will hold up very nicely uh, between around say 7 and 12 degrees so a very mild night really for the time of year going through to Sunday and we've got a weather front here in the north so I think the rain becomes more widespread again for Scotland much of Scotland having a wet day on Sunday but again not too much getting through onto the eastern side of Scotland that rain will push down into Northern Ireland and parts of uh, North West England perhaps by the end of Sunday afternoon. Going further south and southeast of that, there could be a few showers around again for other parts of northern England and Wales, but many southern, central, southeast areas will stay mostly dry through the course of Sunday, and that's where the best of the bright and sunny spells will be. You get the impression again from tight back tight spells, it will be quite a windy day, though light winds down in the south, but many places having a windy day, particularly in the north. Gales again possible around northern uh, hills and coasts, particularly perhaps over the Pennines by the end of Sunday afternoon. Temperatures ranging uh, from around 12 to 17 degrees. 17 down in the south is 63 Fahrenheit, so the temperatures are picking up. The weather probably pushes back northwards as we go through into uh, Monday with very warm air uh, pushing up from the south. So I think the rain will turn lighter, more patchier, really, for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Gradually move northwards, becoming confined to northern and western parts of Scotland. Still a few heavier bursts possible, but the rain should become lighter on Monday. Uh, brighter skies following, so much of England 
of Wales will brighten up perhaps after a cloudy start with sunny spells coming through and exceptionally warm on Monday afternoon down in the south southeast. London, for instance, could get up to 19 degrees 66 Fahrenheit. Very, very warm uh, for the 27th of October and above average temperatures really across the whole of the country. Go through into Tuesday, an active cold front will be moving erratically south and east across the country, so a band of really heavy rain for Scotland and Northern Ireland will develop overnight Monday to Tuesday. And then it'll move south and southeast erratically during the course of Sunday, taking rain through uh, Northern England into Wales, the Midlands, by the end of Tuesday afternoon, with brighter skies following to the north. Turning a lot colder behind that cold front, so temperatures in Scotland will be straight to get into double figures, uh, just 10 degrees at best across Scotland. 50 Fahrenheit, but before that cold front arrives in the south and southeast, another exceptionally mild day. So, London possibly getting up to 20 degrees, would you believe, in brighter sunny spells on uh, Monday, on Tuesday afternoon. That is 68 in Fahrenheit, very, very warm for the end of October. But behind that cold front, believe me, the temperatures will drop quite a lot. That car front will move southwards as we get through the night on Tuesday into Wednesday. It may get stuck in the south on Wednesday, so we've got to watch out for that. Uh, central southern parts of England and Wales could have a wet day on Wednesday, but otherwise the car front should clear and introduce brighter skies from the north. But mainly dry weather, actually. We've got a ridge of high pressure pushing down uh, from the north, so most places should be dry on Wednesday. It'll be a lot colder, though. Uh, temperatures ranging from around 7 to just 12 degrees, really, from north to south. A big drop in temperature down in the south. But it depends whether that cold front gets stuck. If it was to stall and get stuck, say, across Wales and the Midlands, uh, producing a very wet day there. To the south of it, it could stay very warm in the far south of the country. So a little bit of uncertainty, really, about the situation through the middle of the week. But the general idea is for the cold front to move south and clear away, introducing a colder day for Wednesday for all of us. Now, as we go through into Thursday, we're probably find a, finding a warm front pushing back north again. So a band of clouds, just like drizzly patchy rain, moving through Ireland, England and Wales, staying dry for Scotland and Northern England with sunny spells. Uh, it could be quite cold to start off with in the north on Thursday morning with a touch of frost but that warm front is introducing milder air again so the south could be up back up to 17 degrees uh, by the end of Thursday afternoon whereas in the north we're down into single figures at best and then going through to Friday, Halloween, of course, we're going to be bringing in a deep area of low pressure. So it's not going to be great uh, for trick-or-treaters. Uh, the winds are from the south, so another push of very warm air coming through before an active cold front swings across the country. So a band of cloud and heavy rain for Scotland, Ireland, possibly down into Wales and southwestern England through the course of Friday. Central and eastern parts of uh, the UK mainly dry with sunny spells in the morning giving way to cloud in the afternoon. It is windy, so we could have gales, particularly around western coast but temperatures could be up to 18 degrees in the southeast uh, 63 in Fahrenheit no 64 in Fahrenheit uh, but behind the car from in the far west across Ireland it'll be turning colder again uh, with temperatures just 10 degrees that car front will sweep across the country through Friday night into Saturday introducing a much cooler fresher Atlantic based airstream through uh, into Saturday with sunshine and showers really uh, chasing in that band of rain as it clears away into the North Sea on Saturday morning. Temperatures will be dropping back towards average somewhere between around say 8 and 13 degrees and that's really how we go into the first weekend of November on a cooler fresher uh, note with sunshine and showers uh, blowing in across the country. If you want to know about bonfire night uh, it's not looking great could well be wet and windy for that as it very often is. Uh, having a look at charts from Weather Outlook finally just see the uh, weather in your area. We've got the rain in the northwest today otherwise not a dry weather and it's pretty mild as well as we move through into sunny the rain becomes more widespread in the northwest and it could be heavy uh, mainly dry in the south and the southeast however moving through to monday the rain pushes northward so it becomes confined to the far northwest of scotland it should ease off a bit with uh, warmer air following up from the south becoming very warm exceptionally mild for the time of year down in the south and the southeast an active cold front swings through into tuesday bringing a band of heavy rain south and east across the country but before 
all that rain arise in the southeast. Another exceptionally mild day with temperatures possibly hitting 20 degrees, and that's very close to probably being a day record. Um, up to the northwest, behind the cold front, it turns colder, uh, a lot colder, but mainly dry. Going through to Wednesday, quite a bit of uncertainty about Wednesday. The cold front could get stuck in the south, producing cloudy, wet day. But on this scenario, the cold front is clearing away overnight, Tuesday, Wednesday, with all areas staying dry on Wednesday and much, much colder temperatures down in the south southeast. You'll notice uh, that drop in temperature. And then as we move through into Thursday and Friday, it's a case of watching the warm air re-establishing from the south again, albeit turning wet and windy in the north and west, with wind and rain streaming across the country overnight, Friday into Saturday, probably washing out the trick-or-treaters. So in summary, it looks as though we're going to be seeing a very warm week down in the south, down the southeast, with temperatures well above average, except for the middle of the week, where temperatures drop briefly, uh, and it turns quite cold, but otherwise, really quite a warm week down in the south southeast, with the most wind and rain up to the north and the west. A very active week's weather coming up. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.